what's going on everyone I am back here with another video and today I'm going to be giving you guys an in-depth look at the new messages application in iOS 10 so iOS 10 has brought many many new features to the uh, iMessages app uh, it, on both iPhone iPad and iPod touch um, now it doesn't change anything for standard text messages this only corresponds to iMessages. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into the application and check it out. So first and foremost, uh, the UI for Messages has been completely redesigned. So if we go into a message thread, as you can see, the bubbles and everything are basically the same, but the UI around it has been changed quite dramatically. So you have a bunch of new options down here at the bottom. And then you have info at the top. So the little back button has changed with a, to give you a corresponding amount of text that you have received. Uh, your person that you're texting and their little profile picture and whatnot. Then you have the I, uh, which I'm not going to click because it gives you the information of that particular contact, such as their phone numbers, email addresses, and so on and so forth. But the main new features of this application are the iMessages app is the stuff down here on the bottom so if we go and click the messages bar there it basically brings up and you can type a message like so you could just say whatever and send it off like so and as you saw there the send button has also been redesigned so instead of it saying send uh it has a little arrow pointing up and then you just press that and it slides it up and sends the message so it's kind of cool uh, and then you have this little arrow over here on the left side. So if you click that, you get several options. You have camera, um, a digital touch, which is brand new to the iOS family. And then you have an App Store button. So let's start with the camera. Uh, so if you click the camera, uh, you get an inline uh, live view of the camera. So you can see here, you can scroll through and you get the camera. And you can click it and it takes pictures and it'll immediately add it to your message. You can hit the little X to delete it. Or you can slide over here and view all of the photos within your photo library. And then you can click whatever ones you want. So you want to add that one, it adds there, and you want to add this one, slides it right up there, like so. Whoops. It's kind of finicky to delete things because the little X is kind of small. So that's one thing that kind of needs to be fixed. Um, but that's that, and then if you slide over the other way, you get a couple options. Uh, you can click camera, which will open up the camera application. And then you have photo library, which will take you to your photo library. So that's pretty cool. So if we go back to this, you can click that to remove it. And now if we go to digital touch, this is something that we have on the Apple Watch currently. Uh, but basically digital touch has now been brought to the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, uh, which is kind of cool. So you have the option to sketch. You choose your options over on this side. So you click this, and you can uh, sketch uh, whatever you'd like. So you can draw. You can see, just draw whatever. And basically, then it'll send it up to the person that you have um, on the receiving end, and they will get that little message. And then you can change your colors. So you want it to be red, and you can say high like that just draw whatever and it sends it up and there you go so it's kind of cool whoops having a little bit of a glitch here there we go so this is a beta so I think glitches will happen so it's got to be aware of that all right so continuing with the digital touch um within here so again you have little a few options over here on the right hand side so you can tap and hold with two fingers and it'll send your heartbeat. Now, it doesn't work the same as the Apple Watch, where the Apple Watch will actually send your real heartbeat because it has the heartbeat sensor on it. But from here, it just basically sends a standard predetermined heartbeat. So if you put your two fingers on there, as you can see underneath there, it's having like a heartbeat going on. And if you let go, it sends the heartbeat to the person that you are sending it to. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, and then you have the standard tapping uh, functionality. So you can tap on the screen on this little area and it'll send people the tap. It's kind of interesting. I'm in actually intrigued to see if 
on the receiving end, people will get the vibration of the corresponding taps. So I will have to wait and see if that actually is how it's going to work or not. But anyway, moving on. So we have, if you click sketch, you can tap once with two fingers. And it'll send basically a lip. And then if you do hold and drag down with two fingers. Whoops. It's kind of awkward to do. There you go. It When you drag down with two fingers, it sends a heartbroken. Uh, message basically the heart kind of breaks in half and then you can hit the little arrow down there and you can bring up this which will basically bring uh, a bigger version up here so if we click the camera here <coughs> um, you can now send video and pictures straight from this digital touch menu so another thing you can also draw on top of picture or excuse me videos so if you start recording a video you can do this, okay, and then you can draw over top. As you can see, you're drawing on top of the video. Hit done. And then when you're ready, hit the little send button down there. As you can see, when you play the video, it will uh, have the drawing overlaid on top of it. So it's kind of cool. Um, okay, next up is the App Store section. So this is where you can use third-party applications to send stickers and other things to your friends. So in this case, uh, you can send like this little Mac little icon here. You can click that and it adds it to your message. And then you can immediately send it to your friend, just like so, pretty cool. Um, then you can also see so you could drag and drop the message right there and it kind of overlaid it on top of it. So it's kind of interesting. And then you can swipe through all of the different um, things that you uh, can send so Apple Music this is classic Mac uh, if you swipe over again you have images uh, that you can choose from um, and they're kind of gifts I guess you can see you can click that and it sends a gif to that person um, and then you have this little button here which allows you to manage all of your installed applications for uh, iMessage so now there will be an iMessage section within uh, the app store so you can download applications uh, to use with iMessage so you can add more stickers and whatnot whatever you would like so it's pretty cool uh, and then if you want to go over here you can go to your recently used uh, stickers and then use them again if you would like and if you click up on the little arrow you can get a whole ton more of stickers to choose from and you can the little arrow to go and back and minimize it. And then the next thing is the ability to basically convey how you're feeling. So let's just say I'm going to write boom on here. Now if you hold down on the send button, you get this menu here, which allows you to uh, do invisible ink, gentle, loud, or slam. So if I hit gentle, as you can see, the bubble animation kind of goes to a gentle effect then you can go to loud or okay slam okay there's loud and then slam it kind of throws the little bubble down and it's kind of interesting uh, and then invisible ink is an interesting one so as you can see it kind of fuzzes out the message so if i send that you could see it has a little fuzzy thing over the message. Now you have to swipe your finger over the bubble uh, to reveal the message. So if I swipe over, it reveals the message. So it's kind of a more intimate, secret way to send messages to people. Um, so same thing will go for a picture. So if you want to say send this picture here, you hold down on the send button, do invisible ink, send it off. kind of lagging there we go so as you can see now that uh, picture has been covered with so-called invisible ink so to reveal it you just swipe your finger over it and it removes all of the invisible ink and there you go now you can see the picture that that person sent and same thing with the message again so it's kind of cool and then it goes back and rehides it over a certain period of time 
And then one last thing with the Messages app that is really, really cool uh, within the little animation is, so let's do test again. If you hold down again, you get an option up here called screen. So if we click that, you get a few more options. So you can have a full screen animation. So the first one are balloons. Slide over, you can then do confetti. Slide over again, and you have a laser light show. Fireworks, and a shooting star. So if we do, so let's just do the laser light show. And if we send that off, as you can see, it kind of takes over the entire screen and does a crazy animation with the light show. So if we go on this one, you can see. There you go, and it changes colors, and it just gives a really interesting effect. So let's do one more, just to kind of give a look at that. Let's go ahead and hold this again. Screen. So let's do... Let's do confetti this time. So you do confetti. And as you can see, it starts taking over the entire screen. And if I go back into this other thread, and it should have confetti falling down. There you go, the entire screen has confetti all over it. So this would be something that's quite fun for group messages as well. Um, and I, I don't know, it's just really fun. So, uh, the last thing uh, with the Messages app has to do with emojis. And emojis in iOS 10, in iMessages, are three times as big as what they were in iOS 9. So if I send, say this one, this one, and that one, as you can see, the the little icons are absolutely huge. So if we send it, the emojis are way, way bigger than what they were before. And okay, and then the last thing with the emojis is if you're typing a message, so I'm just going to write some random words here. So let's say happy. Uh, so let's say happy day today cool. Just say something like that. So, and then if we hit the little emoji icon down here on the keyboard, you can see the, some of the words get highlighted in orange. So basically what that means is when you tap on that particular word, it will uh, replace the word with an emoji icon. So for happy, you can click it, and it gives you an option of different faces. So you can choose any of the faces that are involving happy. So let's say, let's do that one. So it replaces it with the word uh, happy with the little happy face. And then cool, you can click that, and it replaces the word cool with a cool face. So, interesting, and then you can go and send it off, and then there's your message. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below, it's greatly appreciated. Uh, hit the like button as well, lets me know that you guys are enjoying my videos. And if you guys have any questions about what you just saw here or anything like that, drop a comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed once again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.